It's 1945 and the Allied forces are on the doorstep of Berlin. What does this new book bring us for the Soviets? Let's have a look. Soviet MCHES have finally arrived to version 4 with hero and non-hero variations of the Sherman 76 and Sherman Late. The hero variant comes with both the higher skill and smaller unit sizes that we have come to expect, while the non-hero formations let you take companies of 5 to 10 Shermans or Sherman 76s to storm your way across the table. Of course, being Lend-Lease equipment, these Shermans do not come with the stabilizer that makes them so good on the Western Front, but our comrades in the Tankovi regiments will overcome this. Berlin Soviets also brings us some exciting new infantry units. The Guards Motor Rifle Company bring us a hard-hitting, veteran DPMG unit with the ability to hit an assault on 2+, and the Armored Recon returns with a careful, fearless veteran hero option also hitting on a 2-plus in assault, backed up with their submachine guns and either loaded up in German half-tracks or Lendley scout cars with 50 cals. The Red Banner Formation has some exciting new units as well, a careful, confident veteran rifle company that can be as small as five teams, and their Storm Group, which I think may be our new favorite late war Soviet infantry. Lastly, all of the new infantry have the option to upgrade with captured Panzerfausts, and all save the Recon Platoon are limited too. What would a Soviet force be without its heavy guns? And there are some fantastic new additions here. From veteran SU-76s and BA-64 observation posts, to up-armored IS-2s, to the 160mm mortar and 203mm tracked howitzer. And of course, the Red Banner formation getting to bring its own mix of heavy assault howitzers and T-34s for the close-in fighting on the streets of Berlin. That brutal in city fighting is going to be nasty. Lastly, we see the return of the classic late war four detachment forces as an in-book formation, sporting some of their excellent new infantry options, backed up by the new tanks as well as old tanks, as they seek to exploit the breaks in the German lines. Alongside this, there is a host of new and exciting command cards, and you know us, we love our command cards. Uh, firstly, the one that stood out to me the most was the new Night Attack and Searchlight cards. These are going to make for an exciting new scenario, if a little may be a little difficult to make work, but I still think it's going to be fun to play. Uh, and of course, can't help but mention the Dishka AA card, because that lets us bring out our old milk trucks with the heavy anti-air machine guns. Uh, and there's also, of course, a card to upgrade your Katyushas to the BM-3112 Heavy Katyusha. Lastly, the, uh, one of the cards that stood out to us was a Bedspring Armor card that allows you to apply it to T-34 formations from Baker Ration Soviets to bring them forward in 1945. Well, that's a ton of new and exciting things that we are definitely looking forward to getting on the table very soon, so watch this space for new and exciting content. And remember, folks, we're pulling for you, so keep your sticks on the ice.